recently upgraded my longer Ray 5 laser from a 5 watt to a 10 watt module. I uh, did an assembly video on here a little bit a while back. Uh, it was sitting here on the table and I had an order to do a custom sign so I thought well this would be a good chance to uh, check out this laser with a new 10 watt head on it. But I have to come up with some settings so I'm doing a couple of test burns here uh, doing line fill and offset fill and the material I'm going to be engraving on for the project is uh, cedar. So I'm using some scraps of cedar to uh, kind of get benchmark here. I'm using some uh, settings. I've used uh, some of my other lasers for doing signs and I'm kind of starting with those but I'm having to tweak them a little bit because not every laser works the same. If you've got for let's say an atom stack laser, you've got an Artura laser and they both have 5 watt heads they don't necessarily perform identical. It's the same thing with the 10 watt heads and things go you know it's different from laser to laser and also this one does not have air assist so I have to uh, work around the scorching you'll get if the speed's too slow. Uh, it does put a pretty good stream of air out through the little nozzle on the end of the head but it is not the same thing as air assist. So I'm running a couple little tests here and see how they come out. I'm Roger, welcome to the shop. As I mentioned here in a little bit of the introduction of what I'm doing here with this longer Ray 5 laser that I recently upgraded to a 10 watt module on it. That's 10 watt output. And a couple of things here, a couple of people are going to be all freaking out about the smoke coming off the laser. All the doors in the shop are open, so it's, smoke's going right out the doors. Uh, the other thing you may be wondering about is why don't I have my protective eyewear on? Well the reason is I'm not looking at the laser. It, it does have a shield on it and it does block probably 90% of that light from the front side. You're seeing the back side where there's no shield, but I'm not looking over there. But if I get down to where I'm studying this close, yes, these go on even though it does have the shield on it. So as I mentioned earlier, my whole process here is doing a couple test burns. I've done a couple here. Uh, the first one I did, right there, came out with way too much scorching and the, my line engrave was not as deep as I like it. I cut the power back too far. So my second try here, the top line is just the line engrave and I've got that set up where I like and that is uh, 2,000 millimeters per minute at 80% power. The next one is just a straight fill. This is uh, 2,000 millimeters per minute at 50% power. Yep. No, 3,000 3, millimeters per minute at 50% power. And my offset fill down here is 3,000 millimeters per minute at 50% power. So I wanted to take this a step further. This is done now. Take this off. And my line engraved, this is a little bit darker piece of cedar, came out just like I wanted to, as just as it did on this light piece. This is a piece I'm going to be doing the project on has both of these shades in it. It's got a streak right down the center of it. Kind of adds character to it. So my test fill here on this darker piece is a 3,000 millimeters per minute 50% power. Excuse me. I'll get this straight. i got to look in the right place. 4,000 millimeters per minute at 50% power. And the same for the offset fill. And it looks like I'm going to be using the offset fill. i got very little scorching. And I've got a good depth on it without it being overly deep. So now I need to get this set up and I'll engrave the entire project. Okay, the piece of wood I'm going to be using here I'll be cutting down the size. I have a little X in the middle here. I need to get that in the middle and I need to fire my laser to do that. So I know where the center it's pretty much on center there but I like to have that little dot appearing. Okay, we're in the center, line it up on my grid here. Next I'll be framing it. Of course, as I mentioned, I always start from center.
Okay, everything frames well, so probably wondering what am I making? Okay, so right there is a graphic I'm going to be making. I'm going to be doing this in two different layers. The first one is, uh, it's actually marked labels on here, but it's just a line. And then the, uh, what you see in blue there is going to be offset fill. I usually do this at a much bigger size, but I needed to make a uh, small one for a small space. So that's what we're going to get set up on here and start. Those pencil lines you see on there from when I uh, marked the center, I'll, since there will be a little bit of scorching, I'll have to do a light sanding on. Those will come right off. Pencil marks are extremely light. Total burn time on this sign is 13 minutes and 52 seconds. Okay, so there it is. I need to get some scorching removed, and I do that with uh, some 220 paper on an orbital sander, random orbital sander. And then I need to do a little bit of trimming up on the ends, and then I need to put a finish on it. Okay, so it's been sanded and trimmed up. Now it's going to get a couple coats of uh, spar urethane on it, satin finish, and it'll be ready to go. So there's the finish sign. Came out well. And uh, I did do a little bit of sanding on it to get rid of that scorching because, as I mentioned, this does not have air assist. But the, uh, the little blower that's in there does a pretty adequate job of uh, keeping the scorching down to a minimum. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. If you're interested in uh, maybe upgrading your laser, longer laser, or maybe you just want to buy a 5 or 10 watt longer laser, there will be links down in the description. Uh, yes, I do get a little bit of a commission from that, but it does not affect your cost. That commission kind of helps keep the lights on and stuff like that around here. Well, I'm Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.